This is the 29th of January, 2015. We're at Vincent Corporation, Tampa, Florida. We're going to run some tests. Uh, we've been running uh, normal stuff. Uh, seaweed, that was yesterday, or the day before. Uh, shrimp shells that went in like this and came out like that. Organic material. What the testing we're going to do today, first one is from rubber. And that is tiny particles of water. Uh, tiny particles of rubber. We also have the filter media out of oil filters, and we also have something called fork, which is a sponge metal. Um, anyway, that's what we're going to run, uh, and the, the press we've got set up isn't the high torque one I hope for, but it does have a screen that has uh, openings about ten thousandths of an inch. You can see them there on the inside. Um, that's 10,000 for an inch. We're going to start with the crumb rubber. Need any help, Bill? Okay. starts to come out. We close the cone at one bar pressure, 15 psi. We're running at 60 hertz, as that'll give me the most power. Um, and um, not entirely bad so far. We'll see if we can make any cake, get this door to open. Okay, terrible results. The only way we got this cake to come out was to nudge the cone open. It's in a fixed open position right now. We never have gotten a flow of oil to come through that screen. The water you see is from us cleaning out the machine before we started. Uh, we're getting a flow right here, but um, boy, you can see it's just a few drips. And the inlet hopper, it's just flowing. At the top, it's flowing backwards towards the motor and gearbox. Instead of going forward, it's just churning in the inlet hopper, it does not want to feed in, it's slipping. It's like the material is blocked, blocked inside the press, and not, no liquid's coming out, so it can't move forward. The screen is what we call blinded. It is covered over by particles of rubber, so that no liquid can get through those slots that are, as I mentioned, 10 thousandths of an inch wide. To a wider slot, it'll just let the rubber to go on through the slot. We swung the cone open to uh, empty this material out. We're saving some sample in case we think of something that might make it work. We're not going to thoroughly clean out the press. Next sample will run as a swarf. Okay, let her rip. We put a marker in here, so the first thing that comes out should be some pieces of styrofoam. There you saw one down there. So the styrofoam will push out the uh, crumb rubber, which didn't work. Uh, yeah, Andrew would need to save that pail, the crumb rubber, pull it out. We can just let the stuff drop there on the floor. Okay, more promising. We're getting something out. Of course, that could be the crumb rubber coming through. Okay. Um, we're pushing out the crumb rubber. And we're getting a flow of oil. Or water. There it looks like some foam. Okay, I haven't seen any here yet. set for low pressure, one one bar. You sure you saw foam down there, huh, Andrew? Yep. Okay. Now this one you can see is feeding in 
by itself pretty much okay. We're getting a nice flow. Getting some cake to start pushing the cone open. It'll be wet to start with because uh, when you start with an open cone, you're just conveying the material without squeezing it down to the discharge. So the first stuff coming out is always wet. And it gets going for a while. Um, what are the amps running, Bill? Okay, amps are 2.9 amps on a 4.4 amp load. Uh, Andrew, take the air pressure on up to, uh, I'll make it 30 PSI. I'll make it 45. We ought to get out more liquid and um, cake ought to come out drier. Okay, uh, we're, this is looking good enough uh, that we're collecting, this is actually a time test. We're 33 seconds into our test, collecting pressed liquor, pressed cake. The flow rate is small. I can tell it's uh, on the very low end, a high D rating for the normal throughput capacity of this press. But given we've got metal in there, goodness knows what it is. We've collected samples of uh, yeah, shrimp and all kinds of things down here. Um, and uh, so we'll have that available. Oh, we got uh, samples of the press liquor too. emptying out the score and uh, so of course with no cone pressure and no liquid besides that the inlet hopper is empty we're putting in a marker this is the 29th of january at 2015 we're at vincent corporation uh, we've been running a variety of samples we just went, finished some swarf metal shavings fine metal sponge shavings uh, with some degree of success. Knocked out uh, uh, more than one kilo of liquid for every two kilos we put in. Uh, next we're going to run the con um, filter media from some uh, oil filters. Uh, given that this is a small